Do you know how easy it is to make your own beef stew? Let's start with some sirloin. Let's go. Cut it up in little chunks, like so. Hit it with the Danos, bunch of it. Get it nice and coated, like so. Fire it up, oil in, steak in. I'm gonna let these sit for about five, 10 minutes, get a nice crust on there, you'll see. Check out the herb crust. Gonna add one thing of beef stock. Let that just boil for about 30 minutes. We're boiling. That meat's gonna be super tender in 30 minutes, and then we're gonna add our corn, carrots, and potatoes. I'm gonna put a lid on it so we don't lose all our broth. Meat's getting tender, so we're gonna add our veggies. We're almost there. Add some spicy Danos, too. Last step, add some cornstarch water to thicken it up. Yum, yum, get you some. Start by cooking the onions and peppers until softened. Season, add some dried herbs, then add some garlic. Add the tinned tomatoes, season again, and then cook uncovered for 10 minutes. Finish with some fresh basil, then pour the sauce into an oven dish. Layer the veg over the sauce, drizzle over some garlic and herb oil, and then... All right, y'all, so we call this a camper's breakfast. I've got frozen tater tots. I do pre-cook them a little bit just so total cooking time doesn't take as long. I add a can of mushrooms, pre-cooked bacon. I personally make the bacon crispy. That way I can have that crunch in there. And shredded cheddar cheese. You can literally put whatever you want in this, and that's what's so perfect about it. My kids just won't eat anything else. So I have six eggs. Obviously, if you're cooking for a larger group, do more eggs. Mix it all up, and I preheat the oven to 350. I do put the casserole dish in while it's preheating. Cook for about an hour and 15 minutes, and top with more cheese, and you're done. Let's have breakfast for dinner. Wash your potatoes. You and your family will never go hungry if you have these three things in your fridge. Potatoes, weenies, I mean hot dogs, and eggs. Drop your potatoes, fry them. While that's going, cut up your hot dogs. Get you a bounty paper towel and dry those potatoes off. Oh, everything bagel singing? I got you. Brown your hot dogs. Drain. Now your eggs. This is where it all comes together. Potatoes. Looks so good. And hot dogs. Scramble. Get you a tortilla, honey. Put that on there with some salsa and some avocado. Oh, honey child. This is a skirt steak, and we're taking it to the next level. Season and give your skirt steak a quick sear. This filling is packed with flavor. Parsley, jalapeno, lemon, bacon, rub. Mix and add to your steak. Roll it up and assemble your bacon weave. Wrap up your present and let's take it to the grill. Applewood, low and slow. Crispy bacon, surrounds layers of Blackhawk Farms Wagyu. This dish is guaranteed to impress, and if you've gotten value from my content, I'd really appreciate the follow on Instagram. Little kick from the jalapeno, creamy, cheesy. Quick breakfast burritos, put your tortilla shells in an oven, mix your eggs, cheese, sausage on top. Take your tortilla shells out once they're a little bit warm, throw your egg mixture inside of your tortilla shell, wrap it up like a burrito, and you are good. Let's make some creamy butter chicken to go with our garlic naan. First step is to cube up your chicken breast, and then we're gonna spice it up with some yogurt, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, and a bunch of spices along with some lemon juice. If you like it a lot spicier, you can go heavier on the cayenne. Give it a good mix to marinate it evenly, and now we can cook it. We're going to add our chicken to a heated pan with some oil and cook it until golden. Once the chicken is done cooking, set it to the side and now we make our sauce. We're going to add our butter, tomato paste, and tomato sauce and cook it down to get rid of the acidity in the tomato paste. Then we'll add our chicken and you'll notice the sauce will turn from a bright red to a bright orange. Now we're going to go in heavy with the heavy cream and give it a good mix. If you want to make this recipe vegan or vegetarian, you can always use tofu and coconut cream. Just taste it and make sure the spiciness is to your liking and now you can serve it some basmati rice and of course the homemade garlic naan and enjoy. Let's make some creme brulee, only three ingredients. Half cup of your favorite vanilla ice cream. Micro of a few seconds until it's melted. Add one egg yolk and then mix well. Pour it into an oven-safe ramekin. Bake in the oven for 45 minutes in a water bath. 
pour white sugar in a pan, medium low heat until it caramelizes, then pour it all over and then listen. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, it's Ariana, and I'm gonna show you how to make my absolute favorite chickpea snacks. They're so easy to make and full of protein and fiber. All you're gonna need is a can of drain and rinse chickpeas, pat them dry with a paper towel to make sure they get nice and crunchy in the oven. The best part is it's so customizable with whatever seasonings you like. I like to keep it nice and simple with some salt, pepper, and chili powder, and then roast them at 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. You have to try these, they are so addicting and full of more. All right, this is one of my favorite breakfasts here. This is some chilaquiles. We're gonna start off with cutting our tortillas to triangles. Now we're gonna preheat our oil to 350 degrees. This is avocado oil. We're gonna fry them until they're golden, until they stop fizzling. Make sure you do turn them so they, can, they come out nice and golden, just like so. Put them off, strain them. We're gonna be adding some more. Now we're gonna remove all that. We're gonna be adding two eggs. We're gonna season these with salt and black pepper. And we're gonna flip them once. Make sure you make these over easy. There it is. Now we're gonna remove the egg. We're gonna add our chips back in and we're gonna be adding some salsa we made the previous night. And we're gonna be adding some of this cheese here, cotija cheese. Check it out. Now we're gonna be garnishing it with some cilantro, some avocado, put the egg on top. There it is, over easy, enjoy. Tough skirt steak comes from poor slicing. To do it right, slice about a four inch piece, turn it 90 degrees, and then cut perpendicular to the meat grain. This is gonna give you very short strands of meat fibers, which is gonna be super, super tender. Grill marks are for posers. To make this four ingredients healthy pancake, they're so delicious. Mash up two ripe bananas, then add two eggs and a little bit of vanilla. Give them a good mix, then, Add half a cup of quick oats and half a cup of fresh blueberries. Mix again until they're combined. Using a measuring cup, scoop out about a quarter cup of the batter onto a nonstick pan over medium heat. Allow it to cook for about a minute on each side. Then serve the pancakes and then add some fresh fruits. I added more blueberries and bananas. Serve with maple syrup. So delicious. Easy appetizer. Take salami, cheese spread, and pepperoncinis, roll it up, and slide a toothpick in. Easy as one, two, three, and taste delicious. Bang Bang Shrimp Pasta. Hot pan. Start some water boiling to cook your pasta. Tonight's recipe, we're doing shrimp. Uh, you can also do uh, chicken. About a pound, pound and a half of chicken will work for this as well. You're going to need a pound of pasta of your choice. Uh, this, this is where you would substitute for gluten-free. You're going to need three tisps of paprika or chili. Three cloves of garlic. For the sauce, half a cup of mayo, half a cup of sweet chili sauce. Three more cloves of garlic. Half a tibisp of lime juice. Half a tibisp of onion powder. Quarter tisp of crushed red pepper. Once the pasta starts to boil, reduce it to a simmer. Add your garlic. Add your chili powder. Mix it. The sauce. Mayo. Garlic. Lime. Onion powder. Chili flakes. Mix it. Olive oil. Add your shrimp. Add your meat to the pasta. Add your sauce. Mix it. In. How was it? I started a new Italian hero and sandwich series for my YouTube channel, so I had a ton of cold cuts left, and I still do. And so I figured, let me make a TikTok today. Let me make a sandwich for me and my daughter. Grilled a bunch of them up, provolone, melted it, cherry peppers. Put it all on there and then just grilled it a little bit more for a really nice lunch snack grilled Italian. Four ingredients and we're gonna have strawberry cheesecake. Two cans of strawberry pie filling. Get it in there. Remove these. Get, get it even. Whipped cream cheese, don't get regular. We're gonna make little dollops of cream cheese in it. A dollop here, a dollop there. Boom. Whole stick of butter. Boom. Melt it. Buy French vanilla cake mix in the bowl. Add your butter. Just kind of mix till it's crumbly. Voila. Sprinkle the crumble all over. Boom. Bake 25 minutes until bubbly. Done. Bubbly. Let's add this. Melt the fudge. You have to try this. During college, I made this pasta all the time, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. Boil a pot of water and heat up some olive oil. Salt your water heavily. Throw in some onion and garlic. Saute in it, salt and pepper. Any pasta works for this, really. Add about a quarter cup of white wine to your onion and garlic. 
I find that adding the wine gives off a nice sweet note, but you don't have to if you don't have any around. Add in some frozen peas or broccoli is great too. Reserve that pasta water, you already know. Strain the pasta, kill the heat, add some butter and mix. Add in as much grated parm as your heart desires. Add cheese and water until it looks good. Enjoy. Making cream cheese is easy. You only need three ingredients. Heat up four cups of milk. Stir it so it heats evenly. Once it's simmering like so. Four tablespoons of lime juice. Just one tablespoon at a time. And stir in between until it curdles. Now I add the rest. I just go with the flow. Pour into a cheesecloth. Let that sit for 15 she minutes. Blend until it is like creamy that. and it comes together. It should look like this. Add a fourth a teaspoon of salt and blend that together again and serve. Alright, let's get this started. We're gonna do some poor man burn ends. We're gonna be using a chuck roast. We're gonna slather it with some mustard. Trust me, you will not taste the mustard. I'm gonna be using peppercorn, peppercorn bigger by Spiceology. We're gonna be using the meter probe to keep those temps on check. I'm using the pit barrel to smoke. So I'm gonna set this up for 165. So no peaking until one and a half hours in. That's 165. And I'm gonna wrap it in foil. Do not wrap the tip of the probe as it will not connect with your phone. Put it back on the grill until it reaches 195. Then you take it out. You're gonna slice it. Try to slice it in uh, some cubes. After that, we're gonna put it in a tray. We're gonna be adding some unsalted butter, about four tablespoons. And then we're gonna be adding our favorite barbecue sauce, whatever that might be. And we're gonna wrap it, put it back. And then we're gonna take it out until you see that it's tender. Check them out, looking really nice and sweet. Football is finally back. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite game day snack. It's five ingredients. It's so easy to whip up and everybody loves buffalo chicken dip. I'm using rotisserie chicken, but you could swap this out for canned chicken to make it even easier. And I mixed everything together in the same pan that I'm gonna cook it in. Threw it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, and it was perfect. Hit the follow button for more easy recipes.